hair is white brown and you're 27 years old Cyril and your height is five foot six he weighs 150 pounds he's a Flemish nationality what is that Flemish well it's a, a mix you know of Italian and all sorts Belgian. of uh, Belgian and other things thrown in I it was a long time ago yeah Flemish huh I didn't know. Oh, I thought that might have been something to do with Norway. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> Cyril lives at... He's got a long, funny address. He lives at 567439 five, Irkutska Place. It's supposed to be called Ir, Irkutska. I can't say that. Irkutska Place. What is that, Russian? I can't. I think it is. I, I don't know why they named that street that way. <laughs> okay. And I have to tell you, you, know, you probably wonder why I have this kind of weird voice. I, I have a slight problem with my vocal cords, and I just have to sound like a, a sort of shape. It's been a terrible affliction all my life. But maybe speech class and therapy like this can help me. Well, as uh, Cuthbert told you, I was born in Billings, and I lived there until I was 26 with my parents, and and then my Uncle Pete moved to Stag Bluff, and he liked it very much down here, and he told me about it, told me to come on, try my luck. I, I took accounting courses, you know, and I did pretty well in it in college, and Uncle Pete told me that uh, it'd be a lot more fun working for as an accountant here for Kesaw. So I came and tried it out, and I've really been very happy here. It's a beautiful town and very scenic, and everyone is uh, friendly here, and it's cultural. It has its own... It's sort of like a little Hollywood, the way Al Strange does things here at the station. You get a chance to be very creative, and kind of reminds I'm me a of bird lover. I have a huge collection of bird pictures. I got a bird, too. Is it a parakeet? It certainly is. It's all covered. I used to have a parrot. One of them great big fat parrots that cost all the time. Just like you read about. I had one of them. Figures. Oh, what was its name? Caesar. Caesar. That's a good name for a large parrot. Huh. My parrot's name was Xavier. That's very amusing. <laughs> Xavier. I can't even spell it. Very good. I'm good at figures, but not very good at spelling. <laughs> well, I uh, hope to advance here and, and not only do accounting, but take a stab at the creative work. He said too. my accounting and different. Yes, I work with Eddie over there, and uh, we're getting a, a bit of a competition going and between us. I understand us and that this with Dangerfield person, I'm going to be doing your taxes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I can sure use a good accountant. Well, I'm the best there is. I have a natural flair for a kitty. I got enough material for both of you. Good. That's good. Well, I'm supposed to introduce uh, uh, Lucinda May Hamilton. She was born May the 18th, 1954, in Mobile, Alabama. It was really a, a little rural place outside of Mobile. But I was born like Rip, and I had to go to Mobile to get in the hospital. You weren't born at home. You didn't take no Lamaz class. It's the one that I wasn't born at home. You probably almost were. You try to look like a Southern Belle, don't you? I admit that I do. Oh, well. Adds culture and or Lucinda is only 22. Ah, a mere babe in the woods. <laughs> And she's five foot three, weighs 116 pounds. She's of English. I think I could see myself in her eyes. Oh, this is nice. Well, like he said, my name is Lucinda May Hamilton, and I married young. I married a guy named Clovis Potter, and he brought me out here because he had a job at the sawmill over at Baxter. And uh, you know how it is out here. Baxter's looked down on is not as good as... Valerie Vanderwood's father's company, the Vanderwood Lumber Company, but Clovis had the other job, the Baxter one. Well, he lost his job. They gave him the pink slip, and 
he got to drinking and acting real mean and everything. And, and we broke up. I had to get a divorce from him. But I went and stayed with his aunt for a while. She lived out here. And she wore a lot nicer than Clovis. And I got to liking it here. So I got me a job over here at k Didn't you some say you were going to do some commercials? Yeah, I saw you on TV the other day. Well, I, I love to do commercials, but I don't just only do that. I, I it, do a lot of filing, too. It was just some kind of pickle mix. Yeah, that was Miss Cuffin's pickle mix. Pie and pickle mix. Pie and pickle mix. Oh, well, Cap Squint, you don't mix them together. They separate mixes, you see. Well, I hope you said that. Well, I should think so. I bet you're a good cook. Oh, I love to cook. I sure do. I want to buy me a pretty little house someday. Here, nice little house with a bucket fence and rambling rods. That's right. With a handsome man. Like me, right? Like me. Like oh. me. Their yeah, love seems to be blooming all over the place. I can't believe this extra cut. This is going to be a very cozy group. Here. Sounds good to me. It's starting to thunder outside. Sounds promising. It does a lot of that. In the fog, I'm sure all of you have noticed was extremely thick today. Hmm. I will tell you more about myself later. We're telling ghost stories in a minute. We want to hear all about you. The next one is to be... Let's see. I'm getting into the... It is like spring with everyone falling in love here. And it's the month of June, 1976. But you'd think it was... Springtime with all this love interest going and the sap is rising and everything. Please. Well, now, let us calm down and have Jose, who is going to talk about... Have me do what? Jose is going to talk about Emma. No, someone needs to talk about me. I am so sorry. I made the terrible mistake. I feel so terrible. Get back up here, Lucinda, and talk about Jose. Talk about me. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I got so fluttery with all these nice I'm gentlemen. Not much to talk about. Oh, you just as nice as you can be. It's about as short as he can be, too. You are kind of short. His name is Jose Armando Lopez. He a foreigner. He was born... I'm not really... He was born in uh, Tijuana, Mexico. That's true. And he was born on... October the 2nd, 1955.